Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Special Edition, Sun and Fun boss John Lights Leanhouts says there will be Sun and Fun 2021. Also, Lights describes the measures being taken to make sure the event is safe and all the details you need to know before you head over to this year's fly-in. Welcome to this special edition of Airborne. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. With events being delayed, Heli Expo canceled, and Ara Friedrichshofen delayed to the week before Oshkosh, people are wondering when can the aviation world return to normal? And when can fly-ins happen again? In just a couple of months, will Sun and Fun be the Aero icebreaker? Can they pull off the first major aviation event a year after the pandemic and keep it safe? And finally, will people come to Lakeland after all? To get answers, ANN editor in chief Jim Campbell interviewed none other than Sun and Fun boss John Lights Leanhouts talks about the extensive efforts underway right now to get Sun and Fun ready to welcome aviators in April. Thanks for joining uh, Aero News in Airborne. Hey, Jim, thank you very much for having us on. We're doing absolutely fabulous down here in the lovely city of Lakeland, Florida at the Lakeland Linden International Airport in the heart of the Sun and Fun Aerospace Center for Excellence campus as we spool ourselves up and get ready to take off and enjoy Sun and Fun 21. How is Sun and Fun going to pull this off and how do we have a great aviation celebration and not infect the world. We have been working with CDC officials, the state of Florida, our Polk County city officials, the emergency uh, health organizations, and we collectively with their help have come up with, as we speak today, a set of procedures that we're going to implement uh, during the event, pre and during the event to provide the highest level of health safety that is humanly possible and will preclude us from being what you would call any kind of a spreader event. And I feel confident that we will become a, a benchmark of how to do outside events because literally we're probably about 85% of everything we do during the Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo will be outside. We don't think this year that we're going to have um, a large international audience just because of the scenario that we're facing right now. So we're, we've actually done away with a lot of uh, uh, tents, one of which is the international tent. It'll be combined with another information booth tent that'll say international visitors check in here, but it's not going to be an extensive uh, giant tent they can go hang out in because uh, we just won't have the population to do it because we want to have a, a successful event and have people go, wow, those guys did it right. We're in survival mode right now. And, and that's not a bad thing. The good news is we are surviving. Bingo. And we are going to make it to the fly-in without borrowing money. And it looks like now if we have a reasonably decent fly-in, the odds are very high that we'll make it all the way to 22. And then we'll be up and running again. Okay. It's a two. It's basically a two-year recovery from the devastation of 20. After the break, Lights and Jim discuss the measures Sun and Fun will undertake to make sure the event is safe. Whatever your aviation goal, right now is a great time to get started. So you'll be pleased to know that King Schools is having a sale right now that ends on February 9th. You can get 21% off any course by using the order code right now when you call King Schools or order online at kingschools.com. Let's celebrate a new year of learning and flying, and we hope to see you soon at the airport. airport. Aviation's number one safety equipment manufacturer. New ELTs and safety products that activate life-saving rescues across the world. ELTs and safety products for every type of aircraft. General aviation, business jet, rotorcraft, commercial aircraft, easy installation, affordable pricing, safety and reliability. Visit www.artex.com to view our selection of ELTs and safety products today. Artex, your best last chance. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. 
Welcome back. Lights and Jim discuss measures Sun and Fun will undertake to make sure you are safe. We are going to ensure that we have cleanliness at the highest level we've ever had it in all the facilities that are regularly touched or have human interaction, that masks will be required in places that are confined, social distancing will be required. You'll be able to walk, you may uh, walk around without a mask if you're out in the middle of the vintage and there's nobody around, that's your choice. But when you get around people, and you're in a close confined area, you're gonna be required to have a mask on. By the way, there's gonna be multiple additions of sanitation stations. All of the bathroom facilities will be sprayed with a 24 hour uh, disinfectant every single evening, cleaned religiously. As people get up from tables and chairs and during some of the events that we'll have, they'll be wiped down and they'll be cleaned before the next group gets in there. And and please understand that our goal here is to create a culture of support for sanitation and safe distancing and, and not spread it through uh, your respiratory. Uh, but if you go into one of our expo convention hangers and you want to walk around and take a look at the products in there, you're going to be required to put a mask on. And each one of the vendors is going to be authorized to put a plexiglass if they so choose, or if they want somebody to step into their booth, they'll they'll be required to tell the individual that they got to put a mask on. But are, are you going to be decreasing the density of exhibitors in the buildings, maybe the spacing? What What's going to happen in the one area that has the most potential for abuse? Okay, so our standard uh, hangers, exhibit halls, hold about a thousand people. So we'll be first, the first thing we do is we coordinate with all the exhibitors and go, how many people do you, that your employees, are you gonna have in your booth, okay? So uh, we'll get that number and we'll subtract that number from right now, it's 30% population. It may go to 50% by then, okay. but whatever the number is. So let's just say hypothetically that we go to 50% occupancy in a building that holds a thousand people. And so therefore that's gonna mean I've got room for 500. Well, if you subtract all the exhibitors that are in there, and let's say there's 100 personnel that are part of the exhibits. So then you're down to 400 people. So what we plan on doing is we're going to take one hall, we're going to take our monitors, and we're going to put 400 people in that when they get all the booths set up. We're going to put 400 people in there, mostly volunteers and friends and family. And we're going to have people stand either end and go, look at that. That's what 400 looks like. So you just got to have a visual of what does 400 people look like in there? And then there'll be a, a guy on the radio goes, okay, we're approaching capacity, stop entrances. We'll let, you know, 20, 30 people go out and go, okay, it looks about right. Let some more in. Will you still have the same amount of booths in each exhibitor building or are you spacing those out? Uh, the booths are probably going to, they're not being spaced out per se, but there's going to be vacant spots. After these messages, Sun and Fun is building up a pretty serious roster of attractions for 2021. Those details after these messages. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor training program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com.
Welcome back. Jim finishes his interview with the lights and gets some surprise news about an upcoming appearance of the Blue Angels. Okay, um, brass tacks to Joe Q Pilot, who is sick and tired of uh, staying at home and, uh, you know, dealing with <laughs> distancing the hard way and really wants to come to Sun and Fun. How do they prepare? What do they need to know for this year? What they need to do is to go on the Fly SNF website and go to for preparation and it will have in there on the website all the rules that we're going to mandate okay mm -hmm. having your mask with you bring hand sanitizer and what to expect on the grounds so they're not surprised when they get here but yeah we've got all the information they need right there on the website to, from you know arrival procedures camping procedures uh covid procedures uh preparation for you know if you want to uh, hotels overnights uh transportation around here um, and, and again, you know, there's a good one right there. Golf carts. We'll be wiping those down. The trams mm -hmm. will be wiped down. You'll be required to wear a, a mask on the tram because guess what? You can't social distance right. sitting next to somebody on a tram. But our COVID preparation team, our COVID safety team is being handed up by two people, uh, two co-chairs. One is a certified doctor. He's a SME actually. And then the other one is a FEMA executive. So we're making sure that we don't leave one T or T cross or an I undotted. Everything is going to be uh, recognized. We need you. Uh, aviation needs you. It needs Oshkosh. It needs Arlington. It needs all these things because, uh, one, our community was fragmented before the pandemic. It needs to get together now. It needs to look at each other and go, oh, yeah, uh, this is why we fly. What better place for that than events like Sun and Fun and Oshkosh and Arlington and all the others. So we need you. So get to it, buddy. Make it happen. We're on it. Our planning committee is really cranking on it. Uh, you know, the Blue Angels have just are going to be here this year and they just yep. transitioned to the Super Hornet and they were supposed to debut at Naval Air Station Jacksonville up there with you guys. And um, that just got canceled. So their, their debut in the Super Hornet will be Sun and Fun 21. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Airborne Special Edition, an interview series designed to bring special attention to topics of critical importance to the aviation community. This show will be a regular part of Airborne programming in the future. Your suggestions for interview topics are always welcome, and feel free to comment on our social media pages. Thanks for watching.